Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Reborn as a Snake. Turning into a Dragon. Chapter 81. Lin Mu watched the snakes gradually unable to withstand the catastrophe, and died under his nose. Can't help feeling distressed secretly. These snakes, even if they don't walk away, are 9,990 years of capped Taoism. It is also a great force. It's a pity to die in vain now. Heavenly tribulation really deserves to be the grave of practicing creatures. You can go against the sky, and you can also have dreams. But you must first ask yourself whether you can jump over the threshold of the catastrophe. Lin Mu sighed, this time to absorb experience. To be a man or a monster, you must keep a low profile. Honestly, it would be great to cross the tribulation one by one. Right now, there are 5,000 snakes, and in a blink of an eye there are only 3,000 left. And the catastrophe is far from ending. God, I, Lin Snake, understand you and let you complete the work in one go. You are avenging your kindness, just wait for me. If this batch is not good, he will train another batch of snake demons. With a million-fold time acceleration, Lin Mu can afford it and afford it. Within the demon world, the four great mountain monster kings are still watching the catastrophe with great interest. King Chengqing saw a large number of snake demons die under the catastrophe, and his gloomy mood instantly cleared up. He sneered coldly. Even if the snake king of the snake clan turns into a real dragon, he is still an idiot. He can fight steadily, but letting his own snake clan form a group to overcome the calamity is completely tantamount to giving away for nothing. He felt that he had overestimated the other party. Such a mindless opponent. Don't worry about it at all. Among the 5,000 snakes, there is absolutely no one in 10 who can successfully walk away. Annihilation is not out of the question. King Yuanxi clicked his tongue and said, it's a pity that more than 2,000 snakes died. This king can see that the Taoism of those snakes is close to the level of the 10,000 demon years. If you want to cross the catastrophe one by one, you should go to 890. Everyone can succeed. Amitabha Buddha, one thought is born, all dharmas are manifested, one thought is death, all things perish. Peacock King clasped his hands together, looked at his posture, and wanted to recite the mantra of rebirth for those dead snake demons. King Chengqing and King Yuanxi gave Peacock King a tacit understanding. With a teasing expression, I don't know, but I really think this is some kind of living Buddha who saves all living beings. Open your mouth to speak the Buddha's words, shut your mouth on the Buddha's teachings, and show compassion for the world. But in fact, this peacock is the most ruthless. Back then, in order to steal the great compassion mantra from the ancient temple, he forcibly killed the old monk who had raised it for 20 years. After successfully stealing it, he killed more than a hundred monks in a row while fleeing. Now they have become the demon kings of the deep mountains of Tianxing Mountain, but they are still pretending. It's too wasteful for these snake demons to die like this. Why don't they all turn into radishes and let the rabbits eat them? The little rabbit king looked sore. Every time a snake died under heavenly tribulation, its body would tremble for a while. It's even more heartbreaking than Lin Emu's snake king. The four demon kings are indeed very idle, watching a catastrophe from beginning to end. Chengqing Wang Yu looked more and more excited, a handful of melon seeds appeared in his hand, and he knocked it. Die, die, these 5,000 snakes and pigs are all dead. This king sees how your snake clan rises up. What to use to mark the demon spirit world? A vigorous catastrophe ended after several hours. 5,000 snakes, and finally 800 snakes resisted with difficulty. Each one was half flesh and half half bone, and was seriously injured. But still these 800 snakes started to walk along with the end of the catastrophe. Dragon horns grew from its head, and its aura also skyrocketed. Immediately, the injuries all over his body recovered visibly with the naked eye. They turned into dragons, and their fighting power soared. To be able to survive under such a catastrophe and suppression can be said to be tempered and tempered. Now it's a success. They are all the best of the snake clan, and they have a bright future in the future. Even in the future, it is not impossible to transform into a dragon. At the same time, they all enter the ranks of the 10,000-year demon. Become the real backbone of the snake clan. And the huge bodies of these flood dragons suddenly began to shrink on the spot. The small ones, the small ones, turned into demons. All of them turned into humans. 
All of them were tall and burly, and their aura was deceiving and frightening. All of them stood on the shore of Wolongtan. Facing Lin Mu in the middle of the pool, he knelt down on one knee in unison. Kowtow to Lord Snake King, I am lucky that my subordinates did not disgrace their lives, and successfully escaped. Lin Mu looked indifferently at the 800 strong men in front of him, if not for his misoperation, there should be 5,000. You have done a good job. You have survived such a catastrophe. In the future, it will not be a problem to transform into a dragon. I am proud of you. Subordinates don't dare to take credit, everything depends on Lord Snake King. Well, Lin Mu laughed heartily. Where is the blazing sun? A tall man with a tall and straight figure, sword eyebrows and star eyes, who is very rich and godlike, came out. The incarnation of this emperor blazing sun snake is full of masculinity. If this is thrown into human society, it may cause a group of nympho screams. Tomorrow, you will select 5,000 snake spirits with extraordinary bloodlines for this king's clan. Lin Mu wants to fall down and get up from there. Yes, La Yang took the lead. Let's all step back, get used to your dragon body, and strengthen your cultivation. Remember, leaving the dragon is just the beginning, not the end, understand. Subordinates remember the teachings of Lord Snake King. As soon as the deafening words fell, 800 strong men swished towards the surrounding dense forest. With Wulongtan as the central area, it spread out. If the demon-killing division still sends masters into the mountains to fetch snakes, I'm afraid they won't even go to the stone bridge of Wulongtan. These 800 flood dragon masters are enough to resist all enemies. Lin Mu will spend another four or five days to train a new batch of capped snake demons. Then let them go through the calamity slowly one by one. Afterwards, he will continue to cultivate the capped snake demon in a steady stream. Although the sharing mode can only be staged, in Lin Emu's view. The biggest advantage is that it will not affect your own cultivation. Lin Mu practiced on her own and cultivated her on a daily basis, a two-pronged approach. Don't delay anything. He wants Master Tian Dao to work 365 days a year without a break. Give me overtime work every day. When the snake clan has 10,000 masters of flood dragons, that's when he will set foot on Yao Lingdong. During this period, I have to improve my morality well. Because when he went to the demon spirit realm, the first thing he did was to take revenge on that wicked king Changqing. Therefore, he must raise his Taoism to the level of 100,000 years. Accelerate by a million times. One month is more than enough. He is now 33,000 years old. Before practicing with 5,000 snakes, his own Taoism has also improved by leaps and bounds. Black and white impermanence has been sent by Lin Mu to wipe out ghost cultivators. At this moment, Lin Mu remembered what Luo Jinshu said, and closed her eyes, summon up. Wait until late at night. A man in a purple robe with glaring eyes appeared in Wulongtan. It is none other than Gongxianxi's third rank righteous god judge, Zhong Li. Don't look at the viciousness of the judges, but most of them are kind-hearted and upright. There is a saying that specifically describes the judge, which is called the king's appearance as ferocious, and the king's heart as fair. Just like the god of the land, he must be a person of virtue and goodness in order to be worthy of it. On this point, the imperial court is very strict in selection and will not randomly seal. Only those village gods at the bottom, the sky is high and the emperor is far away, the regiment will act lawlessly. Zhang Li kowtows to the master. The master is blessed and golden. Congratulations to the master for successfully transforming into a dragon. Zhang Li knelt on the stone bridge, following the gods as servants. He looked at Lin Mu now with admiration and awe in his eyes. There will never be the slightest disobedience. Zhang Li, my master asks you, before the master I crossed the catastrophe and stood in front of the gate of heaven, did your immediate boss, Cheng Wang, want to kill me? Zhang Li said. Returning to Master, the city god is afraid that if you transform into a dragon, it will affect the power of the Ming dynasty. If you are determined to kill, even if a group of chief officials persuade you, it will be useless. It turned out that the villain thought that if the city god really made a move against his master, he would kill him and block the fatal blow for his master, but he didn't expect Wei Shuzun, the demon slayer, to stop the city god. It was exactly as Luo Jinshu said. In order to stop the city god, Wei Shuzun did not hesitate to commit the crime of disrespect, and fabricated the oral order of Mingzan Emperor, which prevented the city god from attacking the master. 
Lin Mu was shocked when he heard this, what kind of routine is this Wei Shuzun? The first two times, I wanted to kill myself this snake. But when he wanted to transform into a dragon, in order to protect himself, he dared to fabricate the emperor's oral order. It's not good if it's a whole thing, he can't eat it himself and walk around. Do you know why Wei Shuzun did this? Zhang Li knelt and replied. The city god questioned Wei Shuzun on the spot, but Wei Shuzun only said that master, you have a profound fortune and extraordinary destiny, and you have never done anything evil to harm the common people. It is a pity to kill the dragon soon. Is it really because of pity? Lin Mu was stunned. His number one enemy suddenly changed his position, which made him a little passive. If this is the case, Lin Mu owes the other party a grown-up invitation. No, Wei Shuzun shot himself twice before. Even if he helped himself this time, he still owed his life. After you went back, you didn't show any flaws, right? Lin Mu changed the subject and became concerned about Zhang Li's recent situation. As an undercover agent placed in Gongxianxi, Zhang Li still has a great effect on Lin Mu. The city god seems to be a little suspicious of the villain, but it's not a big problem. Pay attention to your own sense of proportion. At Gongxianxi, what you were before is what you are now. If you want any information, remember to report it as soon as possible. Yes, okay, you can go back, because you have been suspicious for a long time. Lin Mu suddenly remembered something while talking, and said, wait a minute. Zhang Li had a meal. Lin Mu said towards the surrounding mountains and forests, here comes a clever snake, the smaller the better. Not long after, a red shadow flashed out of the forest, appearing beside it like a phantom. The snake that appeared was as small as a foot, the length of a chopstick. The whole body is blood red, miniature and delicate. But such a small snake has a strong and ferocious aura. A pair of small snake eyes shone with fluorescence. Nice. Lin Mu took a look and nodded. The little snake in front of me has a special bloodline, it is naturally petite, and its size will not skyrocket with the improvement of Taoism. It's like a human dwarf, born that way. But this snake is not useless. Under its petite body, it is a very powerful killer. It can come to the enemy's side without anyone noticing, and then sneak into the enemy's body while the enemy is not paying attention. Drain the blood in your body, and then eat up all your internal organs, so that you can slowly crawl out calmly. This is a mutant devil snake. It is said that among a million snakes, it is difficult for a devil snake to appear. It's a pity that because of the special bloodline of this snake, it doesn't even have the qualifications to be a dragon, let alone transform into a dragon. It has only one way of cultivation. It's pure snake cultivator. Refining. Constantly improve your own snake blood, so as to achieve the point of self-evolution. Hiss. The devil snake called out to Lin Mu a few times in awe. The sound is delicate. He doesn't even have the ability to speak out. But this snake is not less than a hundred years old. On the contrary, it has three hundred years of Taoism. It's just that the blood is special, and it hasn't reached the point of being a blockbuster. If this kind of snake can speak, its fighting power will be more terrifying than the thousand-year-old snake demon. This king sent you a mission, are you willing to accept it? The blood-red devil snake nodded frantically, looking very honored. Stay close to Zhang Li, if you want any information, you will come back and report it as soon as possible. Lin Mu considered the distance between Kyoto and Tianxing Mountain. Even if it is a third-rank righteous god with full power, it will take several hours to go back and forth. If someone detects that Zhang Li went to Tianxing Mountain without permission. I'm afraid this undercover agent, it's not good at the moment. Lin Mu took the devil snake as his informant for Zhang Li. As soon as something happens, the devil snake can come back to pass on a message. This king will not let you go 4.4 for nothing, I will give you a drop of dragon blood to help you improve your snake bloodline. Originally, devil snakes could be cultivated by staying with Lin Mu, although they could not walk away. But when he grows up, his fighting power is amazing. Among the snake clan, although all of them want to take the path of dragon transformation, some of them choose the pure snake cultivation route. When a snake's bloodline continues to improve and becomes truly powerful, it is no weaker than an ordinary dragon. It's just that most snakes are relatively vain, thinking that only by transforming into a dragon can they be truly respected. To be superior, Lin Mu opened his mouth to the devil snake on the bank and spat out a drop of bright red blood. 
As soon as the blood comes out, it is radiant and integrated, containing amazing energy. The last drop of blood floated in front of the devil snake. The eyes of the devil snake were shining brightly, as if he never expected that he had such an astonishing good fortune. You can actually get a drop of dragon blood from Lord Snake King. With a swish, it swallowed the drop of dragon blood into its stomach. In an instant, the aura of the devil snake soared, and the blood red skin of the whole body turned into boiling soup like molten lava. Seems like it's going to burst into flames. The energy contained in the dragon's blood made the devil snake a little overwhelmed for a while. He rolled over in pain on the ground. Rolling and rolling, I passed out. There was still white smoke all over his body. Zhang Li, take this little snake back, it will wake up after digesting the energy of the dragon's blood, and send it back if there is something to do in the future. Zhang Li picked up the devil snake, held it in his palm, and bowed to Lin Mu. Dissipates into smoke. The next few days, Lin Mu brought a new batch of 5,000 snakes to share the practice again. During this period, Lin Mu's own Taoism also improved rapidly. When his practice reaches 35,000 years, J. The host has profound Taoism, comprehends the supernatural powers of Tiangong, and follows the sky and the earth. Remarks. This supernatural power can be enlarged or reduced at will, and its strength and so on can change with the changes. It can reach a giant of 10,000 feet, reach the 33 heavens, and descend to the 18 hells. Ha ha ha. 35,000 years of Taoism, I finally comprehended the law, heaven and earth. Lin Mu burst into laughter immediately, full of vigor. At the beginning when he had practiced Taoism for only a few hundred years, Lin Mu began to think about the law, heaven and earth when he realized that big and small are as good as one wants. Unexpectedly, the dream has come true now. At this moment, Lin Mu cut off the million-fold acceleration. Indifferently said to the group of snakes in the crouching dragon pool, back off all of them for this king. It would be a pity not to show one side of such a supernatural comprehension. Five thousand new snakes rushed out of Tanjong like a tide. Dare not have the slightest hesitation. Afterwards, Lin Mu directly and completely manifested his true dragon body. In an instant, it soared upwards, and when it stood between the sky and the earth, it was more than two thousand feet high. 08 also followed the sudden manifestation of his 2,000-foot-long dragon body, which caused the group of demons in Tianxing Mountain to vibrate. They turned their attention to Wolongtan one after another, not knowing why. What's the matter with this snake king, suddenly manifested his own dragon body, what is he doing? Doesn't he know how terrifying his long way is? The monsters in the shallow mountain area immediately knelt down when they came into contact with long way. Roar up to me. At this time, there was a dragon chant, roaring up to the sky. Lin Mu's incomparably towering dragon body, which was more than 2,000 feet long, suddenly soared at this moment. At the same time, the whole body followed closely by a kind of heavenly dragon power that dominates the world and looks down upon all things. Majesty knows no bounds. Up 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 up. 3,000 feet. 4,000 feet. 5,000 feet. This rise is very fast. Every scale of the dragon's body glows like precious jade, flowing with unrivaled majesty. Boom. Tianxing Mountain was shaking, as if an earthquake was coming. The group of snakes around Wulongtan looked at the king snake admiringly, wanting to compete with the heavenly trial, and prostrated themselves on the ground excitedly. The 800 flood dragon masters stared blankly at the ever-growing dragon body. At this moment, they knew that even if they became flood dragons, they would be nothing compared to Lord Snake King. How dare rice grains compete with the sun and the moon? 8,000 feet. 10,000 feet. No head up. No tail down. The Optimus Prime-like dragon body is straight to the ground. The ever-increasing might of the heavenly dragon scared the nearby tigers, leopards, wolves, and mountains full of monsters, kowtowed their heads and worshipped, and almost lost their souls in fear. The four deep mountain demon kings and the 72 cave demon kings in the demon spirit world are collectively passive. Looking up one by one, they were inexplicably horrified. A gigantic dragon. Damn, long way is so strong, I can't help but kneel down with my 50,000 years of Taoism. How could this snake king become so powerful? 72 cave master demon kings, each of them is the king of race, and their Taoism has been over 50,000 years. The status is only under the four deep mountain demon kings. 
even these 50,000-year-old demon kings almost knelt down, but the power of this dragon is so strong. At the foot of Tianxing Mountain, thousands of people in villages are densely packed with ants. They looked up to the sky at a Tongtian dragon body, knelt down and worshipped excitedly. Master Dragon King has appeared again, everyone worship. Luo Jinshu, the lake god of Yunhu Lake in Baishan, emerged from the bottom of the lake, his eyes fixed, and he was extremely surprised, this dragon body. Also transformed into a real dragon, she has completely manifested now, and she is still not dry. This is really more dragon than dragon, mad dragon to death. In the Kyoto Demon Slaying Division, Wei Shuzun laughed when he saw Tongtian's groundbreaking dragon. You have mastered the great supernatural power of Fatianxiandi, and you are becoming more and more capable. For Shanxi Town God's Temple, when the city god saw the giant dragon standing between the sky and the earth, his face was instantly gloomy, and the good mood of the day disappeared immediately. Nilong, you have nothing to worry about, don't you just understand the law of heaven and earth? It's abominable to disturb the peace of the world by making noise every two days and nights. Only this first grade righteous god can still complain, but the other ghosts and gods in the temple couldn't help trembling faintly when they saw the incomparably towering dragon body. But they were afraid of their bare appearance, and if they were accidentally seen by the city god, they would inevitably scold them, and they hid one after another. The other sighed. Up 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 up. I am more than 2,000 feet long, and I can use my magic to reach the limit of 10,000 feet away. The greatest strength of Fadian Shangdi is that as the body grows bigger, the strength also skyrockets. At this time, Lin Emu's whole body was full of earth-shaking and majestic power. Now he even feels that as long as he thinks about it, he can destroy this Tianxing mountain if he goes out with his tail. 12,000 feet. 15,000 feet. The thick dragon's power made the air between the heaven and the earth become oppressive, making people's liver and gallbladder split. The monsters in the shallow mountain area were shrouded in this kind of dragon power, prostrate on the ground, and their bodies showed signs of collapse. If things go on like this, there is a danger of being smashed to pieces at any time. Master Snake King, I beg you, don't go up anymore. You have received your supernatural powers. Please spare my life. The mountain monsters cried bitterly. Okay. Lin Mu seemed to hear a horrible voice. He didn't even know how terrifying his current power was. The original majesty of the dragon is boundless and majestic, matching the image of heaven and earth. Those goblins who have been around for hundreds of years and thousands of years can't bear it at all. In the end, Lin Mu, who was 16,000 feet tall, received supernatural powers. Instantly reduce in place. Hidden back to lying 433 Longtan. At this moment, all the monsters in Tianxing Mountain heaved a sigh of relief. I feel like I got my life back. It was also from this moment that monsters from all walks of life prepared gifts one after another and went to Wolongtan to congratulate them. I'm afraid that Mr. Snake King will rise up once and come out again. However, more racial monsters go with the mentality of hugging their thighs. Want to be a vassal under the Snake Clan for shelter. The king of the snake clan is so powerful and unstoppable. The rise of the snake clan is a certainty. Even among the 72 cave masters in the demon spirit world, there were no less than 10 demon kings who sent people and brought gifts to Wolongtan. It shows that he has a good heart with the snake clan. At the same time, the snake clan is also requested to move to the demon spirit world as soon as possible. These old monsters are very shrewd. They can see that the king of the snake tribe is the next deep mountain monster king. Forming a good relationship now will benefit you in the future. In just a few days, gifts from various demon kings and small powers piled up in Wolong Lake. These gifts are all encompassing. Weapons, exercises, elixirs, treasures of heaven and earth, everything that one expects to find. Lin Mu didn't expect that he just used a magic trick and made a fortune. In the end, everything was collected into the space of the cave in the pot. There are some good weapons, and Lin Mu handed them over to Lai Yang. Let it be distributed to the 800 Flood Dragon Masters. Whoever claims it will take it. Lin Mu, who made a fortune, has enough confidence. He touched Baishan Yunhu secretly, but he didn't show up openly. Not to mention meeting Luo Jinshu and moving the palace out of the Hujong Cave. It was placed in its original location at the bottom of the lake. As for the treasures inside, Lin Mu didn't search for them either. 
Of course, he would not spit out the Yi Ming Pearl and the Temple Guardian Bell that he took at first. After returning the palace, Lin Mu sneaked back again. I thought I was ignorant. However, after Lin Mu disappeared from Yunhu Lake, the fairy like Luo Jinshu appeared in a purple gauze dress riding a huge catfish. Luo Jinshu's personality is natural and generous, and she didn't catch Lin Mu alone. It can be regarded as giving him face. It's just that at this time Luo Jinshu looked suspiciously. How did he appear just now, and how did he leave? It seems that in the blink of an eye, it appeared in Yunhu Lake, and in the blink of an eye, it disappeared in Yunhu Lake. One thing, Luo Jinshu was sure that the other party definitely did not swim down from directly above Yunhu Lake. The catfish under him was gurgling and spitting bubbles, saying words that others could not understand. You said he might have come from underground. Luo Jinshu thought about it, and felt that it made sense. The entire Yunhu Lake is integrated, except for the underground undercurrent that slipped through the net. If this is the case, wouldn't it mean that Wulong Lake in Nanshan and Yunhu Lake in Baishan are connected? Luo Jinshu's eyes flashed. Immediately send a dozen shrimp soldiers to this lady to dig into the dark river and find the route to Wulongtan in Baishan. Damn it, she has lived in Yunhu for hundreds of years, and she never knew that the underground river was connected to Wulongtan. The Snake King has only lived in Wulongtan for a few days. Just discovered the secret. Doesn't that make her look stupid? HMPH, Miss Ben, let's see how many treasures this little thief has taken from me. After that, she hurried into her underwater palace to check. After Lin Mu returned the palace, he started a million-fold sharing practice again. Two days after the new 5,000 snakes, Taoism will be difficult. Those snakes who practiced with the Snake King were in a dazed state from beginning to end. Originally, everyone was a little snake spirit of hundreds of years, but one day later, they became thousand-year-old snake spirits. Two days later, he was burdened with three or four thousand Taoism. Four or five days later, it was almost approaching the Wanian demon. Let them know what to do like a dream. If it weren't for the skyrocketing body size following Dao Xing, I couldn't believe that all this was true. In the early morning of a certain day, boom boom. Early in the morning, the harbor due to mountaineering rioted again. Jian pushed over from all directions and condensed into a ball. Dazzling thunder flashes in the robbery cloud. This scene left the mountain monsters in Tianxing Mountain speechless. Why is it a catastrophe again? There is no end. A few days ago, it was only a few days since the Snake Tribe formed a group to cross the catastrophe. How come the heavenly catastrophe descended on the sky again? Who, who will cross the catastrophe? Don't tell me, it's another snake tribe. If things go on like this, Lord Tian will be very busy just serving the snake clan. However, when a giant snake snaked out, it stood between the heaven and the earth. Everyone is numb. Why is there another snake in the snake tribe who wants to leave? Didn't the previous 5,000 messages come out in full force? How many again this time? But soon everyone discovered that it was a snake that crossed the catastrophe this time. It's a little more balanced. Not long after, a few Jian flowers were born in the sky, and they bloomed and struck down by thunder. Unremarkable. Very bland. Very boring. Compared with the previous crossing robbery, it's just a child's play. I don't even bother to look at it. It was just noisy, thunder rumbling. Affect everyone's cultivation. Half an hour later, the tribulation was over, and the giant snake successfully escaped. Originally, the appearance of a flood dragon was considered a major event in Tianxing Mountain. It is enough to attract the attention of all the big hills and demon kings from all walks of life. But the problem is that in the current snake tribe, the snake king is a real dragon. A few days ago, the snake clan organized a group to cross the catastrophe, and managed to clear 800 dragons in one go. There is really no shortage of dragons in Tianxing Mountain now. Boom. Just after a catastrophe ended, the sponsorship cloud gathered again. At the location of Wulongtan, there is still a giant snake winding out, standing between heaven and earth. Familiar picture, familiar taste. Can't help but let the group of monsters have an illusion that time and space have been reversed. Didn't you just see this scene? Why did you go back? Second brush, right. The Jian flower was born and bloomed, and the sky thunder struck. Half an hour later, the Jiaolong was freshly baked. Ha! Huh. The group of demons breathed a sigh of relief, the thunder was gone. 
At last it was quiet. Boom. The sky rioted again, and a new catastrophe came. Quote, comma, dot, quote. Everyone went crazy. The head is full of rumbling thunder. But they don't know yet. This is just the beginning. The beginning of the nightmare. Wolong Tan is just like the mass production of dragons, endless. When a snake demon succeeds in fleeing the flood, the next snake will emerge to cross the catastrophe. One after another. Each one takes about half an hour to cross the catastrophe. Fits perfectly. No time wasted in between. Don't consider the mood of God at all. Don't give God a little time to breathe. Just like this, the whole day passed, and the sky's calamity never stopped. Fifty more dragon masters appeared in Wolongtan. However, none of those who crossed the catastrophe died, and all escaped successfully. Lin Mu showed a relieved smile. Everything is under control. The only thing that makes him dissatisfied is that the efficiency is too slow. At the end of the day, the regiment crossed fifty. Then five thousand snakes, wouldn't it take a hundred days to cross them all? Ah, uh, I don't seem to be in a hurry, just take your time. Lin Mu suddenly smiled. The next period of time was simply a nightmare for the demons of Tianxing Mountain. No matter day or night, the catastrophe never stops. The rumbling thunder made those monsters into a nervous breakdown. The most abominable thing is that the endless crossing tribulations made everyone lose the day and sunshine. Because the sky is shrouded in clouds all day long, and the sky is full of thunder. The sun shines in there. Snake clan, please, please take a break, don't be crossing the catastrophe, and let the Lord have a rest by the way, it's been three days. The monsters wept bitterly. If it wasn't for their lack of strength, they would have united and attacked Wolongtan long ago. Rest. Lin Mu couldn't help laughing when he heard this. There are thousands of snakes waiting to go, you let me rest. Don't say you little monsters cry, it's not easy for God to cry. This is where it goes. Bamboo Forest Castle in the Demon World. King Chengqing was in a bad mood, and the snake tribe went through the catastrophe all day long, mass-producing dragons. Invisibly gave it a lot of psychological pressure. After all, one will ebb and flow. The stronger the snake clan is now, the more unfavorable it is. King Chengqing couldn't help showing doubts. How could there be so many top-capped snake demons suddenly appearing in the snake clan? There must be something wrong with it. Could it be that Wolongtan, a blessed place of water and water, has some supernatural artifacts that can quickly improve cultivation? Yes, it must be so. King Chengqing made a firm statement, and then his eyes lit up. Like the Snake King, after taking Wolongtan as his base, he transformed into a dragon not long after. Now the snake tribe keeps appearing snakes that walk away. It shows that the so-called treasures of heaven, material and earth are not ordinary treasures. It must be rare in the world. Only in this way can everything be explained. Looks like it's time for me to attack. You must not just sit back and watch the snake clan become stronger. You must seize the opportunity to get rid of the snake clan and occupy Wolongtan. As long as he occupies the crouching dragon pond, the unknown top quality fetish in it will belong to him. Kill two birds with one stone, kill two birds with one stone. But the snake clan is not the snake clan it used to be, and the snake king is a real dragon, so it's hard to deal with. Chengqing Wang thought about it and decided to find some helpers. Come here, go and invite the demon king, the cave master of 72 roads, to come over, everyone must be invited, just say that this king invites everyone to drink. After King Chengqing gave orders, he walked back and forth in the hall. Think about how to persuade these cave masters and demon kings to go with him to destroy the snake clan. In fact, the best choice for King Chengqing is not these cave master demon kings, but the other three deep mountain demon kings. Anyone who joins forces with him will surely perish. But after much deliberation, I still gave up. One is that the other three deep mountain demon kings are all stronger than him. Evergreen king can't control it. The second is that they are afraid that the fetish in Wolongtan will be discovered. At that time, it will be troublesome to rob him. Looking for those cave master demon kings, there is no such pressure. As long as you give them some benefits, that's all. After some calculations, the corner of Chengqing Wang's mouth lightly raised, feeling that everything was under his control. At night, the main hall of the bamboo forest castle is full of banquets, and there are all kinds of delicious food and wine. 
The Demon King, the master of the 72 Road Cave, also arrived as promised, and King Chengqing is one of the four rulers of Tianxing Mountain. He treats guests, and no one dares not to come. Afterwards, everyone sat in separate seats, filling the hall twice. There are a total of 72 Demon Kings, one is not many, and one is not. After some excitement, after drinking for three rounds, a cave master, the Demon King, raised his wine glass, toasted to the chief Chengqing King and asked, Master Chengqing, I wonder if I have invited all my brothers here today, what is your order? As soon as these words came out, they all looked at King Chengqing. They are all old monsters, very shrewd. They knew that King Chengqing invited everyone to come, not just for drinking. If you want to think this way, then you are not sensible. King Chengqing stood up, Yao Ji's eyes opened and closed, shining brightly, showing a domineering majesty. He looked around, and then asked with a pleasing expression, The king invited everyone here today, and I want to ask everyone what they think of the snake clan. Snake's opinion, all the demon kings looked surprised. Unexpectedly, King Chengqing would ask about the snake clan. What can they think of the snake clan? Could it be that the snake clan offended Master Evergreen? A demon king asked cautiously. King Chengqing shook his head. There is nothing to offend. The king of the snake clan has transformed into a real dragon and surpassed all things. How could he put a mere bamboo in his eyes? My lord, you are joking. You are one of the four great demon kings deep in the Tianxing mountains. Even if the snake king is a real dragon, he is nothing in front of you. Yes, yes, the real dragon is strong, but it has only been practiced for tens of thousands of years. How can it compare with Master Chengqing Wang? A group of cave masters and demon kings flattered. King Chengqing felt very comfortable when he heard this, and smiled and said, This snake clan has been too sharp recently. It's fine for the snake king to transform into a real dragon. The snakes of the snake clan are still walking one after another. Don't you feel pressure? Pressure? What pressure can there be? They have no grievances with the snake clan in the past, and they have no enemies in recent days. Everyone is safe and sound, you can do whatever you want. Everyone, I would like to remind everyone that sooner or later the snake clan will enter the demon spirit world, so they will naturally need a territory. But the demon spirit world is such a big piece of cake, it has long been divided up by our four deep mountain demon kings, and your 72 cave masters. At that time, the snake clan can only grab it, just see if it will grab the territory. What King Chengqing said was very insidious, and he was clearly deliberately creating racial conflicts. Ha ha ha. The snake clan doesn't need to rob. The snake clan really needs territory. Each of our 72 cave masters set aside a little territory, which is enough for the snake clan to survive. As soon as these words came out, everyone nodded. Okay. King Chengqing frowned, his eyes swept towards the cave master who spoke just now like lightning. The cave master suddenly felt like walking on thin ice. Wang Laohao, seeing that Chengqing Wang's expression was not right, he immediately realized that he had said something wrong. Everyone, the snake clan is a humble race, so high-minded, sinister and greedy. Humans have a very good saying, the heart is not enough to swallow the elephant, you think the greedy snake, see. Is it the little bit of land that you allotted? What does Lord Chengqing mean, you might as well explain it clearly. According to what this king wants, there can be no snake tribe in Tianxing Mountain, then everyone will live in peace and everything will be as usual. As soon as these words came out, Xi Xi was shocked. It turned out that King Chengqing actually wanted to get rid of the snake clan, which was something everyone didn't expect. You must know that the snake clan is not what it used to be. Even if he, the evergreen king, makes a move, it doesn't mean that he can be destroyed if he is destroyed. Everyone, the king invites everyone to come today, and I want to ask everyone to help the king to destroy the snake clan together. Restore peace to Tianxing Mountain. The demon king, the cave master of 72 Road, looked at each other, and suddenly realized that tonight was a grand banquet. Many cave masters among them even sent people to Wulongtan with gifts a few days ago, to show that they are better friends with the snake clan. Ah, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy, Lord Chengqing, I'm too drunk to drink, so I'll take my leave first. A cave master stood up unsteadily and said goodbye. I suddenly remembered something urgent, so I will take my leave first. Another cave master stood up, and flashed into the garden. 
Immediately, the demon kings from all walks of life stood up one after another, looking for excuses to resign. After a while, more than half of them walked away in an instant, without giving Cheng Ching Wang any time to react. The remaining cave masters from all walks of life didn't want to leave. But timid, afraid of offending King Cheng Ching, Cheng Ching Wang's face directly turned into a pig's liver face, gloomy and blackened. But he couldn't help but be shocked, the snake clan already has such a deterrent force. I just said something about killing the snake clan. It scared away more than half of these cave master demon kings. Evergreen King had to admit that he was too optimistic before. Think back a few days ago, the terrifying scene of Tongtian, the mighty giant dragon. It gave these cave masters a lingering psychological shadow. It's understandable that everyone is cowardly. But fortunately, there is still a small half of the cave master left in the hall, and the flat horse is enough. Cough cough. King Chengqing cleared his throat, ready to speak again. But before the words were spoken, those demon kings looked like they were drinking and lying down. One by one, the capacity for alcohol became abnormally poor, and they became drunk with just a drop of alcohol. King Chengqing snorted angrily, and suddenly his demonic aura surged to the sky, and a terrifying vision of everything extinction emerged. The surrounding space cracked, shattered, and disintegrated. This scene shocked the demon kings and they all sat up straight. Everyone sober, Chengqing Wang said aggressively. Wake up, wake up. They laughed awkwardly one by one. King Chengqing also lost the patience to speak well, his eyes swept across the circle, and he said in a deep voice, this king is about to uproot the snake clan, will you follow this king? Follow this king, you are your own person, this king will never treat you, the conditions are whatever you want. When the time comes, the real dragon of the snake king, I will personally kill it. Oh four three you just need to kill the reptiles of the snake clan for this king. Facing the mighty evergreen king, the demon kings from all walks of life looked at each other in blank dismay, but upon hearing that the snake king was to be killed by the evergreen king, everyone's faces softened a lot. Now it's a matter of standing in line. Although the snake clan has risen rapidly recently, its foundation is still shallow. Chengqing Wang Gui is one of the four great monster kings in the Tianxing Mountains, with profound morals and profound background. It would be best if it could not be mixed with this muddy water, but since it has to be mixed, then everyone can only compromise under the lustful power of King Changqing. Follow Lord Evergreen's orders. In the end, more than a dozen cave masters, demon kings, stood up and responded. The Evergreen King's eyes flickered, sharp and sharp. Killing the snake clan, enough is enough. Wulongtan. Lin Mu is using the supernatural power of, knowing the future, to predict the future. In fact, since he transformed into a dragon, he has deduced it every day and counted it as one. Try your best to save yourself from bad luck, and don't make mistakes. He has been very high profile recently, and the snake clan is also very high profile. This is also Lin Emu's intention. Because in an environment like Tianxing Mountain where the jungle is prey to the jungle, you can deter the crowd of monsters only if you put your strength on the bright side with confidence. In order not to be missed. This point can be seen from the time when Lin Mu used the supernatural powers of the sky, the earth and the earth a few days ago. Then he received gifts from various forces. Of course, this approach also has certain disadvantages, and it is easier to get burned. Therefore, while Lin Mu improves himself and the snake clan, he calculates it every day. Okay, today, a calculation, a problem. A strong enemy strikes, a disaster of blood and light. After knowing the future, Lin Mu came to this conclusion. Who is the so-called strong enemy, Lin Mu knows in his heart. Since his snake ascended to the heavenly gate and transformed into a dragon, it seems that the human servant is not going to target Lin Shu anymore. At most, it is to help a dragon out, disgusting him. Let Lin Mu know that he is not unique. And excluding the human race, the only one who can be called an enemy is probably the Chengqing King, one of the four great mountain demon kings in the demon spirit world. That guy didn't know why he was targeting himself. Lin Mu couldn't figure it out until now. But it doesn't matter. The other party wants to kill him, and Lin Mu will not let the other party go. Evergreen King, Tian Wanian's Taoism. Lin Mu calculated in his heart that his current Taoism is more than 40,000 years old, which is far from it. 
My only advantage is that I have mastered many spells and supernatural powers and a powerful dragon body. If the situation is equal, Lin Mu is sure to completely ravage the opponent. Now, I'm afraid everything is unknown. No, my Taoism has been improved to at least 80,000 years, so that I can be sure of victory. Lin Mu doesn't want to put herself at risk. One million times faster, one day of practice will increase the Taoism by two or three thousand years. But the enemy probably won't give Lin Mu this time. Report, your majesty, a cave master sent someone to send news that King Chengqing and the twelve cave masters are going to destroy our snake clan. A dragon master knelt on the shore to report. Sure enough. Lin Mu smiled coldly, and then said, this lord must know exactly which twelve road Dongtian it is. His high profile these days is not all useless. At least, it frightened many cave masters and demon kings. Many still want to hold hands with the snake tribe and make friends. As for those who have taken refuge in King Chengqing and want to attack the snake clan, they will naturally not let them go because of difficulties. Master Zhaolong reported. Among the twelve roads, there are the Saint Pong King of the Hundred Birds, the Hundred-Eyed Demon King of the Centipede Clan, the Luli Demon King of the White Deer Clan, and the Ivory Demon King of the Giant Elephants. The One-Horned Demon King of the Rhinoceros Lineage, the Red-Eyed Pig Demon of the Pig Hunting Lineage, the Sky Ant King of the Dead Marsh Giant Ants Lineage, and the Poisonous Flower Demon King of the Human Eating Flower Lineage. The Giant Bear King of the Violent Bear Lineage, the Forgotten Spider Queen of the Spider Lineage, and finally the Bat King of the Vampire Bat Lineage, and the Flat-Headed Demon King of the Flying Rat Lineage. In one breath, it reported all the Demon Kings of Tian Ur Road. This means to uproot my snake clan. After hearing this, Lin Mu felt a lot of pressure. Cave Master Demon Kings, all of them have practiced for more than 50,000 years, and they are kings of the same lineage. Twelve roads are equal to the twelve major races. Plus the forces under King Evergreen. Lin Mu couldn't help but be speechless, isn't it a bit too grand? Let him have a kind of snake clan, he de he nang, so many forces can jointly deal with it. Is he still in time to run away? My obedient. But Lin Mu calmed down and thought about it, the twelve cave masters didn't really want to deal with the snake clan. It was all due to the power of King Changqing. The real battle was between him and the Evergreen King. As long as Lin Mu wins, all problems will be solved. Master Snake King, should we also win over some cave masters and demon kings, otherwise we will be too passive. Zhao Long Master suggested. Hearing this, Lin Mu shook his head, not thinking about it at all. If those cave masters can remain neutral, they have already given him a lot of face for this real dragon. It would be a bit embarrassing for them to fight against the Evergreen King. The reality is cold and thin, and each family has always cleaned up the snow in front of the door, but don't think that anyone will give charcoal in a timely manner. Suddenly, Lin Mu's pupils flashed a look of disdain. Chengqing Wang is a majestic demon king from the deep mountains, it's fine to bully the small with the big, and he has attracted so many cave master demon kings. No more faces. If you can bring in an alliance, then I can destroy your alliance. Lin Mu thought for a long time, and came up with a countermeasure. Wandering gods control energy, wandering spirits are too empty, primordial spirits out of body, let me go. Lin Mu, who was staying in Wolongtan, directly used the spirit to go out of the body, and his soul left the body, turned into a little sun, and shot it out. Lin Mu, whose soul is out of his body, flies towards the emptiness of the demon spirit world. He wants to visit the twelve road cave masters. Good bang 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 bang. In a cave mansion on top of a mountain in the demon spirit world. A short man is on top of a plump young woman. Want to do something wrong. This young woman is not a monster, but a commoner from a certain village at the foot of the mountain. Unlucky, he was caught by a monster and went up the mountain, and became Mrs. Yazai. My beauty, I haven't seen you for a few hours, I miss you so much. This short man is none other than the flat-headed demon king, one of the 72 cave masters. The king of rats. The main body is a flying squirrel with a pair of wings, which can go to the sky and enter the earth. Very extraordinary. Anyone who can become the cave master demon king has some skills. One is to have a strong race, and the other is to be strong. Neither of them is dispensable. The other party can lead the mouse lineage and become the cave master of the demon spirit world, and he can be regarded as a prince. 
In addition, it is said that the flying squirrel and flat-headed demon king also has a special supernatural power. Can drip urine into rats. 1P can turn into tens of thousands of mice. It's even more exaggerated than sprinkling beans and soldiers. Don't be impatient, aren't you being invited by Mr. Chengqing Wang to have a drink? What important things are you talking about? Let's listen to it. The young woman pushed away the short man in front of her. Although there was a smile on his face, the disgust in his eyes could not be concealed. Don't look at the demon incarnation of the flat-headed demon king, who is no different from a human being. But the appearance is really ugly. It belongs to the kind of dick who is short, old, and ugly. If it is a normal person, it is basically impossible to marry a wife in this life. The shape of a monster is shaped by the heart. It's not how you want to transform yourself. The biological form of the mouse is basically ugly. Thief eyebrows and mouse eyes. However, the young woman despises her and despises her, but her body has been taken over by a monster, and she can no longer go back. In addition, over time, this young woman also adapted to the life of being Mrs. Yazai. At least delicious and spicy. King Chengqing wants to destroy the snake clan, so he wants to recruit us cave masters to do it together, that's all. As it spoke, it undressed the young woman. I deeply comprehended the meaning that a moment of spring festival is worth a thousand gold. Didn't the snake tribe produce a real dragon? Do you dare to kill the dragon? The young woman exclaimed. The flat-headed demon king chuckled. What are dragons? The strength of Tianxing Mountain is the most important thing. This mouse, my king, is more fishy than a dragon. Just brag, the young woman angrily rolled her eyes. In her cognition, how can a mouse compare with Long? It is simply a gap between heaven and earth. Beauty, take good care of this king tonight. Maybe in a few days, this king will get you a piece of dragon meat to eat. It will definitely make you radiant and immortal. Dragon meat. The young woman was startled, then her eyes lit up, and she asked, can you live forever if you eat dragon meat? The flat-headed demon king just wanted to say yes, but suddenly the room was filled with golden light. A terrifying coercion invaded its body, such as the top of Mount Tai. The flat-headed demon king's heart trembled, and he couldn't help murmuring, long way. Immediately, a golden dragon appeared in the room. Although this dragon looks small, its body shape and lines are very perfect, noble, without a single flaw or weakness, and its whole body is flawless. Every scale on his body exudes the majesty of ruling the world. Snake King. The flat-headed demon king came out in shock, although there are two dragons in Tianxing Mountain now. But the demon king who can possess such dragon prestige and let him practice for 50,000 years can't help feeling terrified. There is only the dragon that reaches the gate of heaven. Dragon. 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 The young woman stared wide-eyed, although she has gained a lot of knowledge by becoming the Mrs. Yazai of the monster. But it was the first time seeing the legendary dragon, so he knelt down excitedly. Zero. Seeking flowers. Incoherent. If you want to eat dragon meat, isn't it easy? My dragon is here, please enjoy it. The young woman was so frightened that she didn't even dare to speak, and kowtowed on the ground desperately. The flat-headed demon king was shrouded in dragon majesty, like walking on thin ice, and he was inexplicably horrified. It stands to reason that although this snake king has become a real dragon, his morals are not as good as this king, but at a close distance, unexpectedly so. Street. It is the majestic master of the cave, the demon king, but it can't raise a heart of resistance. If you don't fight, you lose. The snake king has arrived, and the cave is really full of splendor. I don't know what to teach you. The flat-headed demon king tried to calm himself down and said. Unexpectedly, the astonishingly powerful real dragon spit out lightly, come to kill you. As soon as these words came out, the flat-headed demon king could not help but tremble, and the young woman who was kneeling on the ground fainted directly. Zero. Snake king, is there some misunderstanding? We have no grievances in the past, and we have no grudges in recent days. Really? Then why are you helping King Chengqing to destroy my snake clan? The flat-headed demon king was shocked when he heard the words, the other party got the news very quickly, and the matter was only settled at night. In less than two hours, the other party came directly to the door. Damn it, King Chengqing, you killed me. The flat-headed demon king quickly explained, this is all forced by King Chengqing. Brother is 10,000 unwilling. 
No matter how courageous this mouse is, brother, he will not dare to defy the dragon scale. After saying a word, it found a pair of golden pupils staring at itself. Looking at it, it felt hairy, full of a sense of crisis. It is true that the dragon is above all things. Without actually facing the dragon, you have no idea how much pressure you will be under. No identity, morality, or strength ceased to exist. Because as long as you can't stand up to the opponent's long way, you can only let others slaughter you. Snake King, let me go, brother quit, and promise not to join forces with the King of Long Stomach. The flat-headed demon king was also regarded as a hero who knew current affairs, so he sold the Chengqing king directly. Strive to protect yourself. But you said it yourself. Don't go back on your word, otherwise. Long Wei rolled out mightily. Don't regret it. Never regret it. If I regret it, I will die badly. The flat-headed demon king swore righteously, thinking of this big Buddha, and left quickly. Do it yourself. After the words fell, the floating real dragon disappeared without a trace. Phew. The flat-headed demon king heaved a sigh of relief, realizing that he was already drenched in cold sweat. Not long after, in another cave master demon king's room, the dragon's power also began to fill, and the real dragon manifested, and his face turned pale with shock. Such things happened one after another as the night wore on. Original spirit returns to the aperture. When it was almost dawn, Lin Mu returned to Wolongtan. Looking up at the rumbling heavenly tribulation in the sky, there is a giant snake resisting the thunder. Lin Mu issued orders lightly. Next, I will give this king a hundred crossings. Yes, a large number of snake monsters hidden in the forest responded collectively. Crossing the catastrophe with a hundred pieces together has increased a lot of risks. But the snake king had an order and dared not disobey. It took Lin Mu a night to visit the Demon King, the master of the Twelve Roots of Cave, and he was overwhelmed by the power of the real dragon. The effect can be described as outstanding. Those Demon Kings are just grass on the wall, and the wind blows on both sides. It's too easy to deal with. I just got my soul out of my body, so I frightened them all. 147. Evergreen King's plan to team up with the Twelve Road Cave Master Demon King to destroy the Snake Clan was shattered by Lin Mu. But Lin Mu also knew that King Chengqing would not let it go. But it doesn't matter, Lin Mu is just buying a little more time for himself. Immediately afterward, Lin Mu led a group of snakes and started a million times accelerated training. Improve your morality as soon as possible. On the other side, the bamboo forest castle in the demon spirit realm. Chengqing Wang is in a hurry to rectify his troops. He summoned all the leaders of the forces who vassalized him. Waiting for the cave master of the Twelve Roots to come with his troops. As soon as the two sides meet, you can go to Wolongtan. Fast. You must act fast. King Chengqing suddenly remembered that some time ago, he wanted to kill the Snake King. Just sent a 10,000-year-old pig demon out casually, thinking that it was very safe. But only a period of time has passed, and it is already so strenuous to destroy the Snake Clan. The rise of the Snake Clan is too fast. At present, there are quite a few thousands of light flood dragon masters. These thousand dragons are all at the level of the 10,000-year-old demon, and they are a very terrifying fighting force. If there were no thousands of flood dragons, why would he need to rely on the power of the 12 path cave master demon king? King Chengqing hated himself for underestimating the enemy back then, allowing the snake king to turn into a dragon, allowing the snake clan to take the opportunity to rise. This attack must be done with thunderous means, an attack with all its strength. Don't give the opponent a little room to survive. The so-called lion fights the rabbit, also with full strength. That fetish is my king's. King Chengqing's eyes became greedy, he killed the real dragon, wiped out the snake clan, and occupied Wolongtan. Find the fetish that allows the monster to quickly improve its Taoism. Ha ha ha. A. King Chengqing thought about it, and laughed out loud, full of pride. He felt that if he got that fetish, he wouldn't be one of the four deep mountain demon kings in Tianxing Mountain. It is the mountain god of Tianxing Mountain. The monsters in the entire Tianxing Mountain will be ruled by him. However, Chengqing Wang, who was deeply immersed in the beautiful fantasy, was slapped severely by reality. Report the flat-headed demon king and send someone to say that he will withdraw from the action of killing the snake clan, and send a heavy gift to make amends. Okay. 
King Chengqing frowned upon hearing this, and his eyes became cold. This idiot is really as timid as a mouse. I just regretted what I just decided yesterday. Worth mentioning. It's just one less way, it doesn't hurt. The flat-headed demon king is timid, and as we all know, he only wants to have fun every day. Waste. Report. The giant bear king sent people to send gifts to apologize, saying that he would withdraw from the operation of killing the snake clan. Report. Dot the unicorn demon king also sent an apology gift, saying that he would not participate. Report. Luli demon king said that he had made a mistake in his cultivation and could not take part in the action. Report report report. King Chengqing suddenly felt his scalp tingle and was furious. The demonic aura in his body boiled uncontrollably. Damn, it's really punishable. The demon king, the master of the Twelve Road Cave, actually released all his pigeons. The dignified demon king of the Deep Mountains has no face left. It's unreasonable, it's really unreasonable, you guys don't take this king too seriously. Wang Chengqing was so angry that he almost exploded on the spot. I can't wait to turn my guns back now, and first give the twelve traitors to eradicate first. The beautiful longing just now was suddenly shattered. My lord, if the cave masters of the twelve roots don't participate, we can still destroy the snake tribe. A ten thousand year old demon leader asked weakly. Chengqing Wang sullenly fell silent. At this point, I'm afraid it's time for a long term plan. Although the real dragon of the Snake King is far inferior to himself, King Chengqing is not sure that he can kill it. After all, it is a real dragon. What's more, he can also follow the heavens and the earth. Plus thousands of dragons from the Snake tribe. With his family, it is really difficult. Damn, damn, back. Chengqing roared again and again with royal aura, and the soaring monster aura shook the whole castle to the point of collapse. Wulongtan. Okay. Why do I seem to vaguely hear a retarded person roaring? Lin Mu grinned, the cave master of the Twelve Roots repented, and he must have made Chengqing Wang very angry. In his opinion, if King Chengqing is strong enough, he should rush down and challenge Lin Mu to the dragon. But Lin Mu predicted that the other party would not do this. The demon king in the deep mountains is strong, and he is also riping. And Wulongtan not only has its own real dragon, but also a flood dragon that has practiced for tens of millions of years. Chengqing Wang is not easy to use even if he is a demon king in the deep mountains. Otherwise I'm adding fuel to the fire. There was a playfulness in Lin Emu's eyes, and his heart moved at will. A cloud was drawn from the sky. Then the lightning flashed all over his body. Immediately, an astonishing thunderbolt burst out and poured into the clouds. A cloud becomes a catastrophe cloud in the blink of an eye. Floating towards the bamboo forest castle. Labor and capital can't beat you to death, and they will kill you with disgust. If you kill bamboo, go to the catastrophe for me. Don't worry about killing my snake clan all the time. Bamboo castle. The evergreen king is getting angry continuously. After becoming the demon king of the deep mountain, the young man is not so angry anymore. The cave masters of the twelve roads repented together, there must be something tricky in the middle. This king knew early on that he couldn't live with that snake. Evergreen king had a premonition from the moment the opponent seemed to walk away. Dot 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 exclamation mark. Your majesty is not well, there is a robbery cloud in the sky. A monster came in to report in a panic. Jian is just Jian, the damn snake tribe is walking around every day, it's not a big deal. The robbery cloud in the sky never dissipated. It's just that everyone is getting used to it now. 5.5 is not the king, but above our castle, there is a cloud of calamity, and there is a calamity thunder that is about to strike. Just like, just like that day. That day, when King Chengqing thought of the snake turning dragon, he shot and killed it. But the opponent slashed with a thunderbolt backhand. After harming Chengqing King, he could only obediently resist the thunder. Otherwise, your own castle will not be able to keep. Not good. King Chengqing's face changed drastically, and he suddenly appeared and stood above the castle. I saw a huge black cloud covering it, with lightning flashing and thundering inside, just like Jian. Boom. A powerful tribulation thunder struck down towards the castle. Damn Snake King, I'm not finished with you. King Chengqing roared angrily, and began to fight against the thunder crossing tribulation. If a thunder is not caught, his castle is gone. Lin Mu and Wulongtan heard another hysterical roar. 
the joy in my heart. In the future, I will strive to send a free tribulation crossing experience card to the aloof master Cheng Ching Wang every day. Crossing the robbery more often is good for your physical and mental health. Lin Mu is not afraid that the other party will lose his mind and rush down to find him desperately. After all, there are two concepts before and after the demon king of the deep mountain made a move, and whether he made a move or not. If he shot at himself, his dragon would still be alive. Then it will have no face to live. King Chengqing, just wait, you will die slowly step by step. Lin Mu can increase his Taoism for thousands of years every day, and if he practices for one month, he can increase his Taoism for 50,000 to 60,000 years. At that time, King Chengqing will be a prick. The heavenly tribulation of the sky is uninterrupted for 24 hours, and new dragons appear every moment of the snake clan. Black and white impermanence worked diligently to wipe out ghost cultivators nearby. From time to time, part of the merits of heaven and earth befall Lin Mu. Chance is enhanced. It's really rewarding every day. When Lin Mu was really happy. Oh wait, a familiar figure appeared on the stone bridge again. Okay. Didn't the palace be returned? Why did this fish return? Lin Mu murmured secretly. The figure that appeared on the stone bridge was the owner of Yunhu Lake, Luo Jinshu. The second true dragon of Tianxing Mountain. A effervescent, effervescent woman. Are you free? The weather is fine today. Miss Ben will take you out for a walk. Luo Jinshu smiled sweetly and spoke to Lin Mu in the middle of the pool. Lin Mu was taken aback, the weather is good. Ever since the snake clan started to leave in batches, there has been no good weather in Tianxing Mountain. The group of monsters live in the rumbling thunder all day long. I don't have time, I need to practice, Lin Mu refused. Luo Jinshu rolled his eyes. We monsters also need to know how to live, don't just know how to practice, take a day off, it won't delay your progress in many ways. Lin Mu has a weird face, it's really delayed, it's been thousands of years. In the past, it was accelerated 10,000 times, and it was fine. The waves are just waves. Now it is accelerating by a million times. This delays a day, and the loss is too great. Don't go, practice makes me happy. Lin Mu refused again, and he couldn't leave Wolongtan easily now. After all, there is still the evil King Chengqing staring at him. Luo Jinshu's almond eyes widened immediately. Your crouching dragon lake leads to my lady's Yunhu Lake along the underground river. You actually know this secret, why don't you tell me? She suddenly got into trouble. Okay. Lin Mu turned to the past. You have lived in Yunhu for hundreds of years, don't you know? Luo Jinshu smiled awkwardly. She didn't know it seemed to be outrageous. Okay. Let's go out with me for a walk, Miss Ben has encountered an interesting thing, we two dragons swim together, it is also a good story. Two dragons swimming together, why don't you say, Shuanglong Shiju? What's the matter? Luo Jinshu said. A few days ago, a group of villagers came to my temple to petition, hoping that God Benhu would help them solve their difficulties. Then you can solve it, why are you looking for me? Lin Mu came to his senses as he said, you can't solve it, can you? You are a majestic lake god, with such a great name, and you are a dragon that has jumped the dragon's gate. You can't even solve the difficulties of ordinary people. The difficulty of that village is a bit tricky, it is cursed by monsters, and the whole village cannot give birth to a boy. Lin Mu was taken aback when he heard the words, what kind of monster is so insane? Killing people is nothing more than nodding their heads, and you curse the whole village for not having boys, that's going too far. This is tantamount to destroying the village. Could it be the sentence? I curse you for giving birth without an asshole. The Yin God stationed in that village can't solve the problem of being cursed at all, so the villagers begged me to come here, and Miss Ben is also worried that it can't be solved, so she just wants to draw you in as insurance. Luo Jinshu said it honestly. It's impossible to match two real dragons, and neither of them can solve a curse problem. Just help me and walk with me. Lin Mu thought about it, and felt that this matter was really interesting. But Lin Mu didn't want to waste his time in cultivation. So, there is a compromise method every other time. He performed the earth shot technique, turning himself into a clone. This avatar is the same as the main body, but only has about 50% of the main body's strength. The more points, the weaker the strength. 
Already Lin MU's current Taoism, if you want to divide it, you can differentiate into millions of selves. But too many clones are equivalent to paper tigers, which are useless. Right now, Lin Mu made a doppelganger and thought it was quite appropriate. The real body is practicing in Wolongtan, and the avatar goes out to do things without delaying anything. When the avatar Lin Mu appeared in front of Luo Jinshu, she saw through it at a glance, and said speechlessly, just go down the mountain, what are you doing, and get a avatar. Hee <laughs> hee, very much. Since Lin Mu didn't have a demon form and turned into a human, she simply shrunk her size. It turned into a delicate little snake and landed on Luo Jinshu's shoulder. From a distance, this pair is comparable to Chang'e and Yuan. Fresh and refined. It looks like a combination of a beautiful woman and a snake. In fact, it is a story of two dragons. Luo Jinshu told Shan Baokong that the village was cursed by monsters. Shan Baojai is a large village with a population of several thousand. Has been hunting for a living, and the folk customs are tough 407. He even dares to provoke a monster that has become a spirit. Although living in the suburbs, Yuko from Shenshan Baojai is doing well. The strong folk customs make even monsters flinch. Most of the households are hunters, with a strong yang energy, and it is rare for ghosts to take their lives. The yin god enshrined in the ancestral hall in the village is also quite reliable. He didn't oppress the people, and he didn't want to marry a wife. Work conscientiously. It was such a village that was inexplicably cursed by a monster a year ago. For a whole year, there were quite a few pregnant women in the village, but no boy was born. As a hunting village, without the output of male children, it is not just a loss of incense, but a loss of roots. Will affect future livelihoods. This made everyone in the village very worried, and the yin god in the village even asked the people to invite an eminent Buddhist monk to do it. I don't know if the eminent monk invited is a fake bald donkey, a scammer. After doing a ritual, it is useless. In desperation, the people of Shanbao village begged the lake god of Yunhu Lake. The carp jumping over the dragon gate by the god of the lake has become a myth in the suburbs. There is an imperial court behind the scenes to fuel the flames, and the reputation is very high. For difficult and miscellaneous diseases, look for the god of the lake. Luo Jinshu came to Shanbaojai and cast a special spell that ordinary people couldn't see. Walking down the village, I found that every woman in the village was lingering with a black air. The black air is very treacherous, like a shadow, like a ghost leaning over. But the men in the village did not have this black energy to follow. Those black air, it must be the cursed things. Luo Jinshu frowned beautifully, and casually blew dragon air at a woman on the road. The dragon breath blows like a spring breeze. The woman's spirit was shaken, and her spiritual energy was instantly improved. However, the black air surrounding the pavilion still exists. What a strange curse power, my dragon energy doesn't work well. Luo Jinshu glanced at the little snake on his shoulder, and said, have you seen the way? Lin Mu shook his head, he only saw that the curse is not the power of spells. And there is no additional damage attached. The role of black energy seems to be purely to prevent women from giving birth to boys. I think you should ask the yin immortal in the village to find out what monster cast the curse. Lin Mu gave a suggestion. Makes sense. Luo Jinshu immediately walked towards the ancestral hall in the village. After entering the ancestral hall, I stood in front of a wooden statue on the altar. Please show up the yin god. Luo Jinshu spoke lightly to the wooden statue. As soon as the words fell, the wooden statue gradually turned into a flesh and blood body, surrounded by incense. After waking up, Yinshan jumped down, at a height of 8 or 9 feet, his whole body was like copper skin and iron bones, and his face was ferocious. Meet the lake god lord. The yin god bowed to Luo Jinshu. The posture is very low. The yin god sent by the town god's temple can only pretend to be a big man in front of the ordinary people. The actual status is very low. Because to put it bluntly, he is just a ghost, how can he be compared with Lu Jinwen and the god of Shanling Lake who was granted by the court? In addition, Luo Jinshu has already transformed into a dragon, so his status is even higher. What is the curse of this village? What kind of monster did the villagers in Shanbaojai offend? She gets right to the point. Yinshan spat out fearfully. It's a crow, a giant crow covered in black hair but with bright eyes. It began to tell the ins and outs of the matter in detail. 
It turns out that there are many dense trees growing on the back hill of Shanbaojai, and these trees attract many crows to build their nests. Almost countless. Every night at night, there will be countless crows calling. There was a messy croaking noise, one after another, continuous. Just like the roar of countless ghosts in the abyss, the people in Shanbaojai lived in a nightmare. In the folk, the crow is a mourning bird. It represents death and is an ominous thing. The people in the village hated this annoying mourning bird even more, in order not to let the crow interfere with their lives. Almost every few months, the hunters in Shanbaojai start a unique struggle with the crows in the back mountain. However, the effects of each fire crow operation are not particularly remarkable. A year ago, the hunters in Shanbaojai made a huge determination, and they started to burn the mountain. Burn the trees and destroy the crows, nests. However, something went wrong with this fire. To burn is to burn. The crows were also dead. But this is not the beginning of good luck. One day after one month, a huge monster enveloped the Shanbao village. The hunters took a closer look and were terrified. The giant was a crow. The giant crow didn't attack the villagers, but was entrenched in the sky, chirping a few times. After a few calls, the curse of the crow begins. The content of the curse is also very simple, it is to prevent the village from giving birth to boys. After hearing a story, Lu Jin had a flash of inspiration, I seem to know who that crow is. She didn't say hello to Yinchen either, she just turned her head and left. Return towards Tianxing Mountain. Do you know that crow? Lin Mu asked curiously. It's kind of acquaintance, Luo Jinshu said. For a while, that annoying crow came to my lady's Yunhu Lake to steal spirit fish to eat. It's very cheap. I beat it away a few times, and I got to know each other after coming and going. My lady's previous wish was naturally to be a carp jumping over the dragon's gate and transforming into a dragon, but that crow threatened that sooner or later she would transform into a three-legged golden crow and become a god bird of the sun. Crows turning into golden crows. Lin Mu was taken aback, the other party really dared to think. This difficulty is not ordinary. Such as a snake transforming into a dragon, in fact, there is a mature cultivation system, and it can be done. The biggest difficulty is crossing the catastrophe. And turning a crow into a golden crow is basically nonsense. Very nothingness. In addition, normally speaking, the lineage of birds tends to evolve towards phoenixes. After all, the dragon and the phoenix represent the sovereign of all things. Do you know where the crow is hiding? Lin Mu wants to meet the crow that only wants to turn into a golden crow. It told me a few hiding places before, but I haven't looked for it, try it out. Now Luo Jinshu feels that as long as he finds that crow, the matter in Shanbaojai can be solved perfectly. After all, to untie the bell, one must tie it. Next, Luo Jinshu led Lin Mu to run wild in Tianxing Mountain. Until it came to a canyon. As soon as I entered the canyon, I saw a towering willow tree. All kinds of branches hang down like a waterfall. Every wicker is exuding yingying precious light. From a distance, this huge willow tree seems to be shining brightly. However, Luo Jinshu said happily, back quote, I found that crow. Okay, Lin Mu looked at the willow tree, and found a big black bird lying on the tree's body. It's just that the big black bird's actions put Lin Mu and Luo Jinshu into a momentary state of confusion. I saw the big black bird kept pecking at the willow tree with its pointed beak. The trunk of the tree has been pecked out of a deep hole, revealing the white belly of a fish. All kinds of sawdust rustled and fell. And the willow tree was screaming at this time. Damn crow, stop pecking me, Lousy's body is almost hollowed out by you. Please call me Master Jinwu, maybe it's the bird doctor. There is a pest in your body, I will catch it out for you, and restore your physical and mental health. The big black bird pecked while talking, its sharp beak was extremely sharp. A hole several feet deep has been pecked in this big tree. I know, when it is helping the willow tree to cure diseases and eliminate insects. I don't know, I thought it had some blood feud with this willow tree. Willow in despair. To be honest, Lousy doesn't care if there are pests in his body now, because Lousy's life will be pecked away by you. Fart. This god heals diseases and does not harm people. This is called bone scraping therapy, and it can solve the problem of pests all over your body at once. The big black bird has already pecked the tree at a speed of 100 times per second. 
The speed is astonishingly fast, and the pecs are full of afterimages. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts labor and capital. Lu Xu said frantically, if you don't let labor and capital live, labor and capital will kill you too. Immediately, countless branches swayed and slammed towards the back of the big black bird. Slap, slap, slap. Like firecrackers lit, the sun array crackled. These branches contain terrifying power, and if you pull them casually, it may not be able to drop 10,000 caddies of force. But when it was drawn on Hei Daniao's body, it couldn't do any damage. One bird and one tree. I peck mine, you smoke yours. Everyone does their own thing. 10,000 years dryad. Lin Mu was a little surprised. Forget about that weird crow. The majestic willow tree in front of him was revealed by Lin Mu's qi gazing technique. Up to 10,000 years of Taoism. This is incredible. You must know that there is a saying. It is difficult for a single tree to become a forest, and it is difficult for a grass to become a fine tree. It is very difficult for plants to cultivate. A sage once said that anyone with nine orifices can cultivate immortality. Plants have no nine orifices. It is not easy to become a master. Not to mention having 10,000 years of Taoism. Through the qi watching technique, Lin Mu found that the aura of this willow tree is very strong, and the sun is green. Green glow. To put it bluntly, this is a fairy tree. No wonder it was targeted by crows. The other party said it was to kill insects, but in fact they wanted to build a nest on this fairy tree. And that crow is even more terrible, not because of how high it is. Instead, Lin Mu couldn't detect it through the qi watching technique. There is a special power all over the body, which avoids all the relationship between effect and effect. Even if Lin Mu uses the ability to know the future, he can't calculate the specific information of this crow. It really deserves to be a crow that wants to turn into a golden crow, it has something. At this moment, Luo Jinshu greeted the big black bird on the tree, crow, crow. Okay, who is yelling and screaming, I am the golden palace. 747 The big black bird shot out sharp eyes suddenly, and was slightly surprised when it saw Luo Jinshu. Why are you, why are you here? Luo Jinshu came under the willow tree, and said with a smile, Okay, my lord Jinwu, this lady came here specially to talk to you. No time, I'm busy, don't you see that I'm helping this tree get rid of insects? The willow tree shouted angrily. Except for your sister, labor is a fairy tree with your sister's pests on it. I have lived for thousands of years, and I have never seen such a wonderful bird. Shut up, say you have it, and you have it. The big black bird was so stubborn that he suddenly remembered something and looked at Luo Jinshu, congratulations on turning into a dragon. I told you a long time ago that turning into a dragon is the easiest thing in the world. Unlike me, turning into a golden crow is as difficult as ascend to the sky. Luo Jinshu seemed to know what kind of virtue this crow was, so he simply asked, did you put the curse on Shanbaojai? What a curse, the curse of not being able to give birth to a boy. I guess so. It doesn't care. Remove the curse. I invite you to eat the spirit fish. When the big black bird heard the spirit fish, its eyes lit up, but it said, why don't you ask me to eat the dragon on your shoulder? The real dragon in Wolongtan, I heard that it possesses the power of a heavenly dragon and overwhelms all things. It must taste very good. Lin Mu, who was watching the play, was taken aback for a moment, because the crow had already figured out his identity early on. I'm afraid you don't have the appetite right now, let's talk about it when you turn into a golden crow. Lin Mu retorted, the dragon is the king of all things, but there are many unruly people who want to eat dragons. Demonstrate your strength, my lord feels that I have this appetite now. Suddenly the big black bird flew up from the willow tree. A cloud that blocks the sky and the sun hangs over the sky. Immediately, a powerful and unparalleled aura burst out from the big black bird. The whole body feathers glowed with dark arrogance. Between the fibrous roots, the entire space became silent. The sky seemed to be collapsing, and a sense of suffocation came down. Lin Mu's eyes flashed brightly, he didn't expect there to be such a powerful monster in the shallow part of Tianxing Mountain. However, it found the wrong opponent. He is not that willow tree, who is bullied by others. Lin Mu flew over from Luo Jinshu's shoulders and transformed. Become a golden three-clawed real Aichi dragon, the power of the dragon, shocking the universe. 
power is irreplaceable. Willow exclaimed excitedly. What a real dragon, domineering, kill that crow. It has a high hatred for crows. Look at Ben Jinwoo curse you. The dark flames on the big black bird boiled instantly. There was only a ghost howling. At first glance, it was as sad as a wandering spirit, as fierce as a ghost, and the sound entered my ears. The heart of the person who was shocked couldn't help but tremble. Its beak muttered, and the air seemed to be boiling. At this time, a strange black air appeared above Lin Emu's head, which seemed to be absent. In an instant, it swayed down and attacked the dragon's body. Small tricks. He has meritorious deeds to protect his body, so mere curse is nothing. I saw a holy light glowing on Lin Emu's body, no magic can touch it, no evil can invade it. The cursing black air was evaporated in an instant. Yeah, Sid. When the big black bird saw it, it screamed strangely as if it had swallowed a lump of shang. It's like meeting a nemesis. Luo Jin stood up comfortably and spoke. It's better to eat the spirit fish of the god of this lake. Okay, then I won't eat dragons today, but eat spirit fish. The big black bird is also the one who goes down as soon as it is given a step. Luo Jinshu flew onto the big black bird's back. Go down the mountain first and remove the curse from Shanbaojai, only then will you have the spirit fish to eat. The big black bird waved its wings and was about to fly away, but finally said to the willow tree, I'll come back to deworm you after I finish my work. Willow was instantly disgusted. Luo Jinshu also sent a message to Lin Mu to express his gratitude. She wasn't afraid that Lin Mu wouldn't be able to find his way back, but it would be fine if he was separated from each other and collapsed. Ha ha, the damned blackbird is finally gone, I have to run away quickly, this time I must escape to a place where it can't be found. The willow tree moved, but the slightest movement of its majestic body would shake the earth and shake the mountains. Lin Mu looked at it with a speechless face. It's hard for people to find such a big tree. Unless it's blind. Why don't you go to my Wolongtan, the real dragon will protect you. Lin Mu suggested to Willow who wanted to run away. Willow looked at Lin Mu vigilantly. You are so kind. Is there some conspiracy? My crouching dragon pool is a blessed place of water, but you are a fairy tree, take it. Willow thought for a while, and felt that this made sense. In addition, the crow is very perverted, and few people eat it. The real dragon in front of him is very powerful, and he can really protect himself. Okay, then go to your Wolongtan to stay for a few days. Then, a towering tree swayed slowly towards Wolongtan. Lin Mu was in a good mood, so he casually got a clone and went out for a trip, and even caught a fairy tree that has been practiced for thousands of years. This one, like Wolongtan, has been improved in grade, and it can also stimulate the aura around it. Wait until this willow tree finally arrives at Wolongtan. It found that it seemed that it had left the wolf's den and entered the tiger's den. A series of fierce and terrifying giant snakes are crossing and robbing Zhao. The smell of snakes is overwhelming. The whole place has been rumbling thunder sound, it's too noisy. Let you have an illusion that if you don't pay attention, you will be easily hacked to death. The danger is not dangerous, but it is really scary to look at. What crouching dragon pool, it is obviously a dragon pool in a tiger's lair. Just lie on the edge of that stone bridge. Lin Mu arranged a place for Willow. Lie, am I a kitten, or a puppy? Otherwise I'd better find another place. Willow said weakly. I thought I was following a real dragon, but I entered the snake den. Stay with me honestly, there are too many snakes here, and the air is not so good, I need your fairy tree to purify and purify. Lin Mu remembered something and moved the black coffin under the willow tree. This zombie is always sleeping, so it can enjoy the shade under your tree, and let it get your fairy spirit by the way. Willow suddenly realized that this dragon was not a good thing either. After deceiving himself, his attitude changed. What do you take it for? Forget it, as long as the body is not pecked by crows, other difficulties can be overcome. Bamboo Forest Castle in the Demon World Evergreen King survived a catastrophe for no reason. The whole person has been in a state of collapse. The dragon in Crouching Dragon Pool is becoming less and less concerned about himself completely confident. The more this is the case, the more it shows that the other party has confidence. Don't be afraid of yourself. This made King Chengqing more cautious, not daring to make trouble easily. 
After King Chengqing's plan to unite with the cave master demon king was shattered, he still wanted to find foreign aid. But he would not consider killing the other three deep mountain demon kings. Zan Gui, you can help me come up with an idea, how can I destroy the snake clan and kill that real dragon? Shuangui looked at King Chengqing faintly, and suddenly said, My lord, I can help you with a good idea, but after this idea is out, you can let me go free. Set you free. King Chengqing was stunned, this mysterious tortoise is born with spirituality, and will not serve the prophet. Back then, he was able to rise to success in Tianxing Mountain with a purple golden bamboo, half of which was due to his own opportunities. Half of them are relying on Zan Gui's guidance. Therefore, to him, the black turtle is more than just a mascot. But King Chengqing wanted to kill the snake clan so much now, he wanted to kill that real dragon so much, he suddenly said in his head, Okay, as long as your idea is useful, this king will allow you to be free. Shuangui knew that King Chengqing was jealous and ungrateful, so he was not surprised to see him agree. Finally said, Your Majesty, do you remember that there was once a peerless six-eyed golden dragon that lived in Tianxing Mountain, because it ate dragons? Six-eyed golden dragon. Immediately, a monster with a red body and a shape like a lion appeared in King Chengqing's mind. For no reason, his body trembled and his whole body was full of consciousness. The six-eyed golden dragon appeared too early. In the early days, he was still a bamboo. In the early days, the Ming dynasty had just established the country with martial arts. The six-eyed golden beast was considered the most terrifying monster in the world at that time. Has been threatening to eat dragons. Later, a real dragon really appeared in Tianxing Mountain. The six-eyed golden dragon fought with the real dragon. It is said to be defeated. And the real dragon that defeated the six-eyed golden dragon is also the psychological shadow of King Chengqing all the time. Shuangui, you won't say what you mean, but Yinmujin is still alive. Shuangui said. Alive, he has been suppressed by the human race demon slayer in the demon slaying prison. If your majesty can find a way to rescue the six-eyed golden dragon, and then tell it that there is a real dragon in Wulongtan, everything will be fine. King Chengqing's eyes lit up, and he said in succession, Wonderful, 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 it's a wonderful idea. Six-eyed Jinyi has been pursuing Dragon Devourer all his life, and it is said that after devouring Dragon, he can get a certain promotion. However, Liamu Jinyi is in the Demon Slaying Department, and it may be very difficult to save him. King Chengqing frowned. If it is an ordinary monster, there may be a chance to save it, but for a monster like the six-eyed golden beast, the demon slayer must take very strict care of it. Your Majesty, Zan Gui is planning for you, and he will definitely be able to rescue the six-eyed golden beast. It is good. Kill the monster. In the torture chamber deep underground. Zero. I saw a tiny bamboo emerge strangely from the ground. This bamboo is only as long as a chopstick, crystal clear, and has two leaves. After it came out, there was no fluctuation, and it was invisible. Even the special magic circle shrouded in the prison didn't respond at all. After carefully identifying the direction, the bamboo moved silently towards the depths of the test center. If you encounter any patrolling prison guards along the way, it will stick to the corner of the wall. Dodged wave after wave of prison guards. When it came to the deepest part of the prison, there were actually ten small car halls inside and the small palace is still standing on the dark and rippling water pool, looking around, there are only the water pool and the small palace. What Zan Gui calculated should be here. Point zero. Bamboo made a murmuring sound, and immediately transformed into the appearance of Evergreen King. It's just that it's not the real body, but the soul is out of the body. Six-eyed golden dragon. King Chengqing tried to call softly, but the sound disappeared as soon as it came out. Only then did King Chengqing realize that the small palace was surrounded by formations. It seems to be the legendary three forbidden ancient formation. This formation is not too rare, what are the three prohibitions? It is forbidden to enter, it is forbidden to explore the spiritual consciousness, and it is forbidden to touch. Even the consciousness can't enter, let alone the voice. Ha ha, a small formation can stop others, but it can't stop this king, break it for me. King Chengqing knew that time was precious, so he had to be fast. Late will change. He struck out an earth-shattering palm, forcibly bombarding the exposed formation. Buzz Booza unknown currency. 
the formation seemed to be frightened, screaming humanly, and the nearby space was violently distorted. It's useless. In this world, no matter how powerful the formation is, it's like a fiction in the face of absolute power. The formation was broken, and the black water pool disappeared. The non-existence like flowers in a mirror and moon in water has become a flat ground. King Chengqing walked towards the small palace. The progress of the prison robbery was smoother than he had imagined. Perhaps even the demon slayer would never have imagined that he, a demon king in the mountains, would take the risk to rob the prison. The one who was robbed was the peerless murderous six-eyed golden beast. Faintly, King Chengqing was still very proud. Please like and subscribe.